A Canadian first in the fight against the growing threat of superbugs. Researchers are using viruses that act like smart bombs to treat dangerous infections. CTV's medical correspondent Avis Favaro has the exclusive details. This odd-looking virus called a phage is what helped stop an untreatable urinary tract infection that left Victoria Marshall in pain for seven long years. It's such a relief. It's been really hard. One in four women around the world suffer UTIs, but some of the infections can't be killed with antibiotics. In Victoria's case, her superbug destroyed one kidney and she feared it would take the other. My quality of life and my prospects were diminishing by the year. So she became the first Canadian in a study of a new approach, using phages to target the bacteria and hijack them to produce more phages, keeping infections in check. Some were infused into her bladder, others she drank or applied to her skin. I started to feel better within about 48 hours. We're really excited about the progress so far and we're looking to see how this data comes together and we get information from our collaborators to show that the infection is uh, truly gone. Phages are found throughout nature and were first discovered by a Canadian scientist over a century ago. This is a really important first step for Canada to go on the record and you know plant the flag in the ground for Phage Canada. But the treatment remains experimental, although countries around the world are starting pilot programs. Everything we have seen in our global experience with, with phage therapy um, is vindicated that it, it's safe and, and it's ready to move forward. The study will now test these phages on some 200 other women with superbug infections over the next two years. Meanwhile, Victoria is reveling in the good news in this text from her doctor, Happy to report your last urine showed no significant growth and you are considered clinically and microbiologically cured. Offering hope to millions of desperate patients around the world. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.